Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. In today's video, we are decorating for Christmas. I guess I'm cleaning a little, but not too much. I'm mostly just wiping surfaces down, but I thought I would share this. I am probably gonna do a full like house tour once everything is fully decorated, um, but I just thought this would be fun to share. So as you can see, I have a lot of Christmas stuff. <laughs> John was kind enough to bring all of these bins up for me. Um, last year I took quite a bit of time to really organize them fairly well, so this year definitely went easier than last year's decorating, where last year was the first year in the house I was trying to kind of figure everything out. Before I started decorating this year too, I actually went and watched my last year's um, house tour video to kind of remember what I did and see what I liked, what I didn't like, but Anyway, let's get started. So I definitely need to listen to Christmas music while I decorate for Christmas and I have so many Christmas records, like way, way too many, but I love them. So whatever, I love those particular records because they're so pretty to look at. So I had to put away fall and Halloween as well. So I had already gathered all of that onto the table there and while i was decorating inside john was decorating the outside so um we had bought a bunch of these um vintage inspired or like style lights so i was just figuring out what we had there like how many strands of each we had i really like these clear kind of iridescent ones they're so pretty um so i was sort of took some time to get organized with that and we kind of made a plan and i will show you like kind of what it looks like out there at some point. In the same box, I found these um, vintage glass ornaments. I don't actually use these, I'm just saving them for a time when I can put glass ornaments on a tree. Um, the first thing I wanted to do though, after I got organized with the outside, was to get these vintage glass wreaths up just so that they didn't get damaged. These are amazing and beautiful. I made them a few years ago. I filmed a video for them but they are super delicate. Like if you break one glass, like if you break one, it's kind of ruined cause they're all, you know, together. So I'm always like very panicked about these. So I got those up right away. I also really like it when the house smells like Christmas. Um, so I bought a few uh, kind of pretty Kleenex boxes and then I bought these candles that are on a battery like timer for six hours. I thought they'd be really pretty. Um, I just saw them at my dollar store so I picked them up but I got these. I have this wax melts like Christmas thing that I keep in the kitchen so I got those and then I found this set of three um, different smaller candles so I picked that up and then I actually found this candle thrifting it was only two dollars for like a big three wick candle it was a little bit burned but it was mostly still there so I thought it was worth it side note this one smells so good and then um, I just picked up two three wick candles from like my um, grocery store butter drum and I think the other one is vanilla cheer they both smell really good I try to pick candles that kind of smell good together and then in terms of cleaning, I have this Mrs. Myers like peppermint um, like all-purpose spray. It is so good. These are actually from last year. I got them from Amazon. Um, you just like have to get two, so I still had some left. And then there's a matching soap. And then I also had this um, Live Clean Holly Jelly Soap. These I actually had left over from last year as well. I just set them aside. Um, so I brought those upstairs. So we're gonna get the good smells going in the house and then we can get to decorating. I decided to go with the buttered rum and then um, I only really like that piney spruce scent one like when I'm decorating the tree or occasionally when we're watching a movie so it's mostly just one candle in the kind of main living space that I have going at one time but the smaller one I just put over here on the coffee table and then I only really light it when I'm like sitting on the couch so that I can watch it and make sure my cat doesn't, you know, jump up there and burn herself. So like I said, I took a lot of time last year to really organize my bins very well. So they're broken down by room, but then further broken down as well. It was also time for a new record. I just got that one this year. So really enjoyed that. I got all of my fall and everything packed away. And then since I was already in the dining room, I decided to keep going in there. And then um, I was trying to figure out if I should move 
that wreath somewhere else so I did put it out in the hallway and then I decided, like I said, to start in the dining room. So I decided to start with the china cabinet because that was going to take a while, taking all of the like regular china out and putting all of the Christmas china in. It takes a long time, but it just looks so pretty when it's done that um, I, I think it is worth it. That's why I like to decorate early too because it takes me a long time because I put up so much stuff that I like to enjoy that for as long as possible but I totally get um I know in the U.S. like you have Thanksgiving at the end of November so I get why you wouldn't want to decorate for Christmas before Thanksgiving but in Canada Thanksgiving is like the beginning of October so it's long over so my Christmas china it's not vintage or anything I think it's like the 2000s or maybe late 90s I'm not entirely sure but I've been thrifting it it's all thrifted I got it from a bunch of different places I did um, start my collection by thrifting a full inbox um, set and then I've just been adding to it I actually just recently found some more pieces that I posted in my haul recently but then yesterday I found even more pieces so I'm very excited and very happy I love the way that it looks I've changed it a little bit since then because I've found more pieces um, but then I decided to decorate the top of the china cabinet the same as I do like the same as I've been doing for a few years now which I really like just simple super simple I've got some vintage angels up there and then I also have a vintage like styrofoam church I think it's from the 70s um, and then I just put a couple of the candle opera sticks just to give it some light and then um, I just put these vintage it's like plastic 70s kind of foliage with these plastic bells I've been doing this for a while I like the way that it looks I don't think I mentioned and if you're new here um, all of this decor has been like thrifted or secondhand in some way like given to me um, with the exception of just a few pieces I've bought from eBay it's all just been thrifted over a number of years um, so then I like to put the candles in the window since we moved here so we've got two windows in the um, dining room so one I put this style and the other one I put the other style and then I have this um, it used to be like an old record stand it's just empty now so I just use it to store um, extra blankets and pillows um, but it's in the dining room and I love it it's in a little bit of rough shape but I just love it and so I found it I think for five dollars um, and I just love the way that it looks so much. I usually take a lint ro roller over the fabric part where the speakers used to be. So I found this, I think it actually was a curtain originally, but I've used it as a runner in the past. Um, it's just like, a, it looks like a homemade curtain. Um, so I thought that might look good over the top of that because like I said the the top of it is in kind of rough shape but I love that it's actually vintage and I just think it looks really cool so I thrifted this tiered tray back in the summertime and I did have it decorated for fall but I'm not really sure what to do with it this year for Christmas so um, I haven't actually decorated it yet it's just still sitting on the, the stand because I'm not sure I'm gonna have to look on Pinterest or something for some inspo so I was hoping that those candles would fit um, the battery ones would fit in there, but they would not. So um, these peppermint stick candles, which I've had for a few years, I don't light them or anything because they're vintage, um, those ended up fitting in there. So, but then I also have these like 70s plastic foliage candlestick holders as well. So unfortunately the battery ones did not fit in there either. So I think I'm going to have to look at the thrift store and find some glass ones or something maybe even just like plain ones so I really liked the way this looked once I got it on there there is like a stain on it where I think I had a set a candle on it one year but I'm just gonna cover it and it doesn't really bother me so I knew that I wanted to put the tiered tray on there because I really like the way that this looks this is like the view that I get when I'm walking out of the kitchen and looking into the dining room but like I said, I just, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I'm going to have to look on Pinterest for some inspo for that. And then maybe um, I'll go to the thrift store and see if I can find some things. And then I really love these um, wooden candles holder sticks. So I ended up 
putting the peppermint stick ones in there and I really like the way it looks. And then I have this vintage um, Santa blow mold that I stuck there. And then this little dish, I thrifted back in like the summertime, I think. So I put that there and I'm kind of liking the way it looks sans the empty tiered tray, but I don't know. Hopefully I'll figure that out. So then I decided to work on the bar area. So I was really unsure what to do with it because I hadn't had it set up this way last year. So I did take quite a bit of time and I changed things around a bit. Um, but I have these trays. These are not vintage. I, I think they're just meant to look vintage. But um, so I thought I would give those a wipe down and maybe use it as like the tray for the alcohol. I had this, um, I had some like fall inspired things on here that I forgot to pack because I wasn't thinking about it. So I decided to just swap the trays out. And then I ended up noticing that a pumpkin was up there that I think I had just set there from the table, not realizing it. So I had to remove that as well. So once I got everything just cleared off the top, I gave it a wipe down with my peppermint cleaner. It honestly smelled so good in here while I was decorating between the candle and the cleaner. And then I gave the trays a wipe down as well. And I didn't really film it because it took me forever of just rearranging things. But eventually I settled on something that I liked. So I did end up using the round like santa face tray there in the middle and i just put the like alcohol that we use the most well technically that i use the most john usually drinks whiskey which um he didn't have any at the time but i left a space for it and then i ended up putting these two nutcrackers here these aren't vintage but my grandma gave them to me last year she has a huge collection of nutcrackers and um I just thought it would be special to have two of them from her so I decided to put those there because I didn't have a lot of room to put much of anything else but I really like this peppermint vodka and this um, like peppermint mocha Kahlua it makes a really good drink mixed with eggnog or like dairy-free eggnog um, and then I just have those vintage um, not like cocktail napkins there the holly print I don't know I think it looks a little bit festive and cute so for now I'm satisfied with that so then I just had to do the table last so I gave that a wipe because I had been it had a bunch of glitter all over it because I had been setting everything on the table that I was decorating the rest of the room with and in between decorating outside John was kind enough to bring the French doors back in from our building because I decided I wanted to try putting them back up. I had taken them down a few months ago to see how I liked it. Um, so far I'm liking them back up. Um, so he was nice enough to bring those in and do that. So I keep it pretty simple on the table. Um, and I think I said everything was thrifted, but technically I bought these placemats and these chargers new, but I think I got them like 10 years ago. So, um, yeah and then these napkin rings i thrifted a while ago and then these napkins i also thrifted a few years ago so basically i just keep it real simple like i said uh, i just put them down i just kind of fold the napkins in this way to try and and then fan them out to try and make it look cute i don't know i like the simplicity of it and i feel like the plaid like the red and green plaid and the holly berries is a very timeless christmas look so um, fortunately the um, candle, the battery ones would not fit in the other um, plastic foliage 70s candle holders I have either. I think I might've already mentioned that. So I'm gonna look for uh, like just some clear glass or maybe crystal ones and hopefully, cause I think they would look really good on here. And I like that they have the holly berry um, pattern and then I put this bigger pillar candle there in the middle inside a bigger foliage. Um, I don't know, I was messing around with this so much. So then I tried the uh, peppermint sticks here in the foliage candles, but ultimately I did end up putting the peppermint sticks back where they were because I really liked the way that that looked, but I don't know. Is anyone else like that? You just change things around a whole bunch until it just 
fits just right. I don't know. Anyway, at this point, I switched to listening to Spotify because I really wanted to listen to the Once Upon a Christmas album by Kenny and Dolly. It's one of my favorites. Um, my grandma would play this all the time at her house when I was growing up, and it just reminds it. It's like the most festive, happy Christmas album for me. Even though other ways I do not enjoy like country music at all, but that album is just, it's a very festive, happy, good time. So moving on to the living room, um, <laughs> I have so much Christmas. Honestly, it takes forever to decorate. I have a lot of like that 70s plastic foliage. It's like my favorite. So I have these two potted like poinsettias, which I love. Um, I usually just put one on each of my end tables there I think it looks really nice next to the lamps and then I also found my Christmas books that I had got last year the um, Turner classic movies um, Christmas movies book and then the mid-century Christmas book I love looking through both of these um, but yeah it was very overwhelming pulling out all the Christmas stuff for the living room because there's so many bins I also really love these plastic candy canes as well <laughs> they make me really happy I love how vintage Christmas decor was so fun and whimsical. I feel like nowadays it all kind of looks the same and it's also like in the past people would just buy Christmas things and then just use them for years and years and years but now I feel like and largely I'm sure due to social media um, you it's like this constant like buy new things every year i feel like is what is really pushed on social media and i don't know i just feel like it's so wasteful but i think people are just influenced to do that because that's what they keep seeing on social media and it's like a very i don't know consumer driven um situation anyway i was very overwhelmed in the living room so i decided to just go out and decorate the entryway since that would only take a few minutes so i did buy this sign this year it's like a vintage inspired um candy cane sign so i was hoping that it would fit over this autumn sign that i had out in the entryway and it did which made me happy so i didn't have to make any new holes out there um but i just have a lot of again 70s vintage plastic foliage and then some vintage Christmas candles and then we've got the sign which looks really good and then this wreath that I made um, a few years ago and then there is another hook there and I'm planning on making another wreath um, probably soon so when I do the tour it will be there and I might make a video showing how I do it and then the bookshelves and this wall is kind of the main focal point outside of the tree <laughs> it takes a long time to do because I have to take everything off the shelves um, so I usually try and store as much of it as I can in the kind of shelves underneath and I watched my tour from last year to see specifically how I had set these shelves up because I couldn't really remember and I remembered liking them from last year so that was quite helpful. <laughs> That's the cool thing about filming your house <laughs> um, and you can look back and be like oh yeah that's what I did. And the great thing about this wall is the plug is on a light switch so I can just you know flick the switch on and then everything will light up and it's just really easy. I do put some battery operated um, Christmas lights in there as well but they're usually on timers so I gave everything a good wipe because it definitely needed it. And then I have like a bin specifically labeled uh, bookshelves because that's how much stuff I put on them. I was so impressed with myself that I had even put the extension cords and stuff in the bins because originally I was thinking, I don't know if we're going to have enough extension cords, but then I realized, oh, I actually had been smart enough to put them in the bins. So it just made it decorating very easy. So I've got my little vintage Alpine Village that I love so much. I did buy that from eBay last year and I'm so glad I did. I have a couple of light up blow molds as well that I put up there and yeah i love this noel candle one i found this i think for i want to say three dollars just a few years ago i feel like now you would never find that that cheap because <laughs> now the price of anything vintage seems to be skyrocketing unfortunately um, but i found that at salvation army i believe so 
I think I probably even shared it a long time ago in one of my old videos. So I have some more snow in here, which is nice. And um, I made this actually a few years ago. Um, I just took some, I think like dollar store garland and then I took a bunch of thrifted ornaments and different things and I wrapped some battery lights as well and then this is the rest of the alpine village that I actually got in box which is lovely it's honestly one of my favorite things this is very 1970s and then I also have my shadow boxes that I made down there at the bottom um I have those in a video as well and then I love this merry christmas sign it just makes me so happy it was like homemade I love when I find homemade stuff thrifting it just I don't know it's like extra special and then I even packed I use like styrofoam and stuff to use as like risers um so I was happy that I took so much time last year to get organized because it did make it a lot easier this year I loved what I did on the fireplace uh, mantle so much last year that I just did the exact same thing this year and I still love it. So fortunately, I'm not sure where they came from, but these two pieces of styrofoam fit perfectly on top of the fireplace to create an, another like tiered level. Um, so here it is kind of all done. I might end up like rearranging some things at some point, but overall um, I really like it and I just I love that we can just hit the light switch and then everything lights up it's just lovely and I like put my little alpine village down here in the fireplace again this year because we don't use the insert um, down there so it's always just open I want to do something cool with like logs and candles at some point but I have not got around to that yet but I do really like it and again I'll probably share a full home tour um, at some point I'm still kind of finding some things in the thrift stores because they really just started putting things out just a couple weeks ago so then I was going to put up the tree now I know a lot of people start decorating with the tree but I feel like I always end up doing the tree last I like it when the whole house is done the tree is up um, and has lights on it but it doesn't have any ornaments on it and then I usually just take some time put on like um, a Christmas record and decorate. So this year I had just found those red candle opera candles for the windows and I'm so happy I did. I picked up three because I had in mind to put them in the front window because we have a three pane window there and we had other smaller ones in there last year which looked great but when I went outside and looked at them it just looks so nice having the bigger um candles and then they're red so they show up more it's just ugh, it, it made me really really happy so then it was time to get this mammoth tree um, up we bought this last year when we moved in it's massive compared to our old tree but i like to put my tree on a timer so i had packed the timer and all of that right in um with the christmas tree stuff um and then I got out the lights. So I had bought some new lights this year, but I'd also have a bunch more. And I did not actually take that much time last year to put the lights away. I have this amazing vintage topper as well that I love. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, most of the lights were working, thankfully. But it was a lot. It took a long time to untangle them. So I'm definitely going to take the time this year to... Put those away better um i do have a few dead st strands though but i have this weird thing with lights um so vintage lights are slightly different color than newer ones so i <laughs> it's very obvious to me but i've pointed out to other people and they don't see the difference but those two greens look completely different to me um one is a vintage set and one is probably like a four-year-old set and so i'm always trying to match up the lights on the tree because it bothers me when they're slightly different tones it's it's dumb but it's very noticeable to me for some reason so not only did i have to get them all out see if they worked then i had to try and sort which were the vintage ones which were the non ones so i might even put tags on them for next year and that way it's a lot easier once i got all the lighting situations sorted out though then i decided to 
put the tree together this tree um i don't know i have mixed feelings about it i like how big it is but the branches i find very hard to bend so it ends up sort of looking a little bare in spots because i can't get the branches to bend they kind of i don't know if it's because it's so new but i do have to do a lot of creative like filling in <laughs> uh to kind of cover it and it's like it has like a slight lean as well but Anyway, um, I managed to get it all up and then get the lights on. Uh, I still actually haven't decorated it with ornaments yet, but um, I just love having the tree on even with just the lights, but it created for a fake tree. There was so many needles on the floor. I think I vacuumed like three times and I couldn't believe how many needles were on the floor for a new tree. So. So then on the coffee table, I have this like knit or crocheted um, doily that I found a few years ago and it happens to fit perfectly inside of this tray that I keep out all year and it just makes it look a little extra festive so I decided to do that again this year and I just put the kind of pine spruce candle that I I found a larger one packed away with the Christmas so I usually light that like I said if I'm sitting on the couch that way I don't have to worry about my cat accidentally getting up and catching herself on fire so now I have this vintage style like old style lamp I think it's meant to look like an oil lamp but you just put a little bulb in it. I love this so much. I want to find another one so bad. I found this at Value Village, or not Value Village. I found this at Salvation Army as well. I want to say for less than $5 still in the box. I thought that was a great deal. That again, I probably would not find now. <laughs> but um, I was really struggling about where I should put it. I wanted to put it on top of the TV, but I didn't know if it would look right up there. So... I think it would look nicer if I had two because then I could put one on each side of the TV, but I don't know. Hopefully I might come across one. If not, I might try to look on eBay. I ended up just putting it on top of the VCR, like right in the middle there for now, but I might end up changing that around at some point. And then this bowl, I think I'm just going to fill with Christmas bells on top of what's in there. So then that's kind of what you'll see sticking out. Anyway, that is it for this video. I didn't want to make it too, too long. So I think I might make a part two where I share um, decorating like the kitchen and some other areas. But for now, um, I thought that was probably enough. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and maybe that will be the next video.